guys. So uh, I'm bringing you a little video how-to here. Um, I ran into a crazy little problem. Um, my mic stand broke and I wanted to do some recording. And obviously it's uh, this whole COVID situation and pretty, pretty impossible to uh, get something right away. Most stores aren't open. Obviously delivery is taking uh, a bit longer. And if you have a project you want to work on and you really need a mic stand um, or a filter or any of those kind of things, this is for you. I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? And um, so last night I got really creative and I figured I'd share this with you because not only did it work out really well, I actually might keep this setup just because it looks cool and it's kind of fun and it's gonna remind me of this time um, just to be grateful and creative, you know? Um, but anyway, here is here's the microphone that I have in question and uh, condenser mic. And basically, I was looking all around for like, mostly I was just looking for a plastic cup uh, because I figured that would probably do the trick for, for this whole situation. I had seen some videos of like people just cutting up the top of a plastic cup and then, you know, sticking the microphone in there that way. And that definitely works and, you know, cool hold. Um, but then I remembered that I had a um, coffee can from Trader Joe's. Um, not that I'm plugging Trader Joe's here right now, but you know, reality is uh, that's where I do a lot of my shopping. Um, and I had this um, bulk coffee canister. And this canister, so this one still has the coffee beans in it. I figured I'd show you with this one. Uh, this type of canister, it's actually pretty much cardboard on the outside, but you've got this nice, fun little plastic removable lid. The bottom is kind of aluminum. Um, so what I did was I basically took the top of this lid and I poked a hole in it, a pair of scissors, just right in the center, like so, which ended up looking like this. This is what that hole looks like, okay, about that big. And then I took the scissors, so if this is the front of the canister, I took the scissors to the back and just started poking this in very easily. And then this is what I came up with in the back, a hole that kind of looks like that, okay? So the next thing uh, that I did, once I realized that that was gonna be good for um, at least running my XLR cable through and connecting to my condenser mic and I'd have those two um, open holes to do that with and basically having the um, mic sitting on top and the condenser mic K or the XLR cable coming through the back and then attaching to the top I thought okay that's, that's good it's perfect 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 and um, then all of a sudden I thought all right well you know what my uh, uh, my filter screen that I usually use is actually in a storage unit that I can't get to right now um, so Let's get creative. Let's try and let's, let's come up with a filter screen while we're at it here. And I happen to have the box that the microphone came in and uh, it was still like sitting around in one of my closets or something. And I remember that the microphone was packed in all this awesome foam. Uh, so I took one of the foam pieces that was on top, basically a piece that looks like exactly like this. So very thick, very dense foam. Um, I'm sure you can find some kind of any kind of uh, type of foam like this will work. And then I got three bobby pins, three bobby pins. I'm sure you could use safety pins or, um, well not safety pins, paper clips maybe, anything that's gonna bend. So I took these bobby pins and I split one apart, I like kind of molded it to make it like a L shape like that, okay? L shape and then take off this little bit that's on there so you can see exactly what I did so I knew that what I wanted to create here was this wrapping around like so so that my microphone would be sitting right here on the top and that this would be right in the back but it needs to be held out a decent amount so taking this little L shaped bobby pin. I poked a hole. I made, I decided I'd make three little holes around the top of the canister. One here, 
one on exactly on the opposite side and one in the back and I poked it with the scissors so as you can see one hole here one hole here one hole here and then I ran that um, bobby pin through that hole that I made and once it was inside I bent it down so it almost looks like a chair basically like that once it was inside so if I had put this through and ran it through it's basically hanging on the inside like that um, that I'll show you what that kind of looks like and then when I bent it down I don't even have any duct tape right now in my house which is kind of crazy I always have duct tape I feel like I duct tape everything duct tape and Windex works for all things right um, but I didn't have any so I used scotch tape believe it or not and so I took the inside and scotch taped these bobby pins down on the inside so you can see I basically run that through that bobby pin and then bent it down and then I've scotch taped it on the inside once I did that I had my little little posts you know these three little posts and once they were standing up straight I basically just put this bobby pin right into the foam very easily and it's being held up and I did that all the way around with all three of them so that's kind of what that looks like right there so I've already created that nice little filter around the canister now I'm connecting I've just got my XLR cable here coming out it's gonna go in that back little hole got that ready to come up and, and attach to my condenser mic I pop this little microphone the condenser mic right in there I attach the mic to my XLR cable and then I pop on that lid Make sure my XLR cable is not tangled up. And there you go, guys. Uh, uh, fun little mic setup. If you can see, little filter in the background. Kind of works. Kind of actually looks cute as well. Um, you've got your XLR cable coming out. Um, obviously, I can put my, uh, I have my, I ended up using my um, pop filter, have that just attached to my de desktop and I could put that in front as well. Um, did not think this would work out at all, but it has. And um, it kind of works with my decor too. I'm actually thinking that after we get out of COVID, I'm still gonna keep this because it kind of looks cool and it kind of reminds me of the fact that you just gotta be creative and do whatever you gotta do to get things done. So, um, uh, I don't know how many people are really going to be needing mic stands during this whole scenario, but if you do, or even after this, if you're stuck somewhere and you don't have a mic stand, get creative. Or if you just want to not spend money, do this. 